What's going on, people? It's your boy Killer Ka. Y'all tuned in to my first official Jerbin Voice uh, blog series. But uh, for those of you that know, that know what's going on, this is Killer Ka, video blog episode 62. So I welcome y'all, some of y'all for the first time, some of y'all back, my Facebook and MySpace family. I love y'all, you already know. But uh, let me just let me just keep going from that. Um, first and foremost, man, um, I like to say, send a big, big, big congratulations, huge congratulations to my girlfriend, my, my significant other, those of y'all that know her, Mimi Meharry, she, uh, she graduated Rutgers on Tuesday, Livingston Campus, that was a great thing to watch and witness, it was really significant, not only because she graduated from college, but also because this is the last graduation that will be held on Livingston Campus, while Livingston is a school those of you that are familiar with Rutgers you know that there's Cook, Douglas, uh, Livingston, College Ave, what have you, Bush and now combining all the schools into one so Livingston, is the, that was the last one for Livingston and Livingston was the experimentation school that was a school where a lot of the kids back in the 60s and 70s from urban areas were sent to as an experiment to go to college and it was for the, the, the campus's diversity they sent them to Livingston out in Piscataway in, in, in the boonies and it went 40 years and continued to thrive and it's a great school it has one of the biggest solar uh, power plants or whatever it is I think in the state so that's 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 really great and that's really big and Livingston just has so many great people my, my boy Black Tino is definitely uh, a, a Livingston alumnus and everything like that man so big shout out to all of y'all and that kind of spoon feeds us into what I'm here to talk about. First of all, um, if y'all wonder where I'm at, I'm in uh, Harvey de Grace, Maryland. Uh, it's nice out here. It's really, really nice out here, actually. And um, I'm here to celebrate the wedding of my cousin, Veronica. We call her Ronnie, Ronnie Boo. Congratulations to Ronnie Boo. She's getting married to a great guy, Petey. I know him. He's real cool. And I'm really happy for both of them. And my mom is doing the wedding. So that's even bigger. Like, my mom is doing the wedding for my cousin. So it's, it's just great. It's just a great day. But let me go straight into what I want to talk to you about. I know I'm losing time. Um, Vinny from... There's some ducks and shit going on. So. Vinny from Naughty by Nature said something on uh, the radio show with Ron G that was so profound that I wanted to share it with y'all. So these are Vinny's words, not mine, but I encourage it 100%. Ron G asked Vinny from Naughty by Nature, what would he say to, and it goes into this whole everything, so just bear with me. What would you say to all the young rappers that are coming up in the game? What would you advise them to do? And Vinny said, well, I would advise them to not quit their day job. Don't quit your day job. And I know a lot of y'all probably, we all been hearing that for the longest, you know, you could do that, but don't quit your day job. And we take it like as some type of a negative connotation. But what Vinny and what a lot of people are really trying to say is this, look, you're trying to be a rapper or if you're trying to be whatever you're trying to be, that's like a dream, like that, that's limited. Like, you know, a lot, not a lot of people are offered the chance to really do that on a major scale. If you want to do something like that, do it, but don't quit your day job don't quit your bread and butter don't stop doing what makes you money like i'm in rap mode then i'm in vlog mode then i'm in vlog mode then i'm in ups mode then i'm in another mode don't stop don't put all your eggs into one mode because this is what Vinny said that was so profound to me that's so true he said look at russell simmons look at 50 cent look at jay-z look at naughty by nature look at killer car even though I'm not big yet, I, 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 I'm not trying to put myself in their categories because they're, they've done huge things. But look at Puffy Combs. Look at Do It All Duke Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are successful because they do so many things besides just rapping. Jay-Z is not whole because he's just a good rapper. He's a great businessman. He has so many different things that he does. So what better planning and training for you to learn how to be able to run your record label, your clothing line, your multimedia company, your acting career, this, that, and the third, then right now. I know a lot of my dudes are saying, oh yeah, man, if I don't do this rap thing, then I don't got nothing going for myself. If I ain't a rapper, I ain't doing nothing. That's a foolish statement, man. Because God gave you so many tips and talents and gifts. And it's like, 
just because you're a talented rapper, you don't know what other talents you have. Like Rob Rills is a perfect, perfect, perfect example. My cousin Rob Rills. It, it was like a hidden talent that he is so phenomenal at doing work with computers. I swear to God, if you got it, if your laptop is broken or if you have a computer issue, holler at Rob Rills, man. Holler at Rob Rills, cause he will fix it. If well, I was getting ready to say something that would get us in trouble, but I ain't even going to say that. I'm going to keep that on the low. But uh, holla at Rob Rills if you need your computer fix, for real. And that's a plug. So we, I need something if I can do some business after this. <laughs> it's like, nah, you know, you know what it is, cuz. Um, don't quit your day job, man. Learn how, to, learn how to juggle. Learn how to do a couple different things. I know y'all saying, oh, man, if you try to do so many things at once, you end up doing nothing. Yeah, but you have to learn how to be effective in other areas, other genres, especially if you're trying to do something that is a bullfrog or something. Y'all hear that? That's a bullfrog. Y'all know where we at. We in the country, man. We in Maryland, Maryland. And you think I'm country now, next week I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be somewhere even further south next week. So y'all be on the lookout for next week. I'm going to be somewhere even further south. But I'm going I'm to digress from that. Let me say one thing. Um, Nas and Damian Marley, Distant Relatives album. I recommend y'all cop that, man. It's fire. Shout the uh, Do. American Do is in stores. You can go out and cop that. They out in Europe doing their thing. So big shout out to them. And it was one more thing I want to holler at y'all about. But I can't remember what it is right now. So I may do another blog midweek or I may just wait till the weekend. I'll probably do it midweek because over the weekend, like I said, I'm going to be somewhere where I really want y'all to see where I'm at. Because I do this Memorial Day weekend thing. Try to do it as big as I possibly can. So you already know. So with that... I'm going to end it off here, man. Once again, congratulations. And please, I appreciate y'all going to GermanVoice.com and making that transition. Big shout out to Mimi, man, graduating. Big shout out to Ronnie, Veronica, getting married today. Peace and blessings to her. And everybody, man, this is your boy, Killer Cod. Do or die, you already know. Blog, episode 62, GermanVoice.com, Featherhood Entertainment, LG, Zep, you dick.